Good afternoon. This is your Wednesday word from George Bullard for Wednesday, November the 21st, 2018. This morning I've had the opportunity to work with two of our congregations who are looking at the um, future and what they are being called by God to do and trying to make a determination as to how to focus their next steps in ministry. Uh, that's been a del delight. But this afternoon, I'm working in my office on some administrative matters. But before I get started with those, I wanted to talk to you for just a few minutes about thankfulness since tomorrow is our traditional American Thanksgiving Day. I wrote down 10 things for which I find myself to be very thankful today. Number one, I'm thankful for my relationship to God through Jesus Christ. Uh, that's paramount in my life, and I hope it's paramount in your life. Number two, I'm thankful to God for my call to Christian ministry. I, I joy and, and am exhilarated in terms of the opportunity to serve in the midst of God's kingdom. Number three, I'm very thankful for family. I'm going to have the opportunity to be with uh, my wife and my two children tomorrow for Thanksgiving Day and my new son-in-law. And uh, that'll be a great experience for us as we share a meal together and share laughs and stories and things like that. Number four, I'm thankful for the friends, not only those that I have currently, but those that I've had throughout my life and how they have added joy and meaning to my life and how they have mentored and coached me. And I've had the opportunity to nudge them along in their life with Christ. Number five, I'm thankful for my church, which is Spring Valley Baptist Church and here in the Columbia Metro Baptist Association. My wife and I have been members of this church for 33 years, except for five years when we were in North Carolina. Uh, number six, I... I am thankful to serve the, the churches and association, the almost 100 churches that form the Columbia Metro Baptist Association. I wake up every day excited about what we be, will be able to do together to help uh, God fulfill the Great Commission and the spirit of the Great Commandment. Uh, number seven, I, I am I'm thankful for people who are hurting. That may seem odd, but I'm thankful for the fact that uh, I, I see them and I don't ignore them. I hear them. I I, I I'm glad to walk alongside them and to help them to have a full life experience with God through Jesus Christ. Number eight, I'm inspired by many of our churches who are thriving in ministry and, and who are seeking to do prophetic and, and uh, stretching kinds of things in ministry in order to, to reach and touch people, to make disciples who make disciples. Uh, number nine, I'm also very thankful for hurting churches. Again, that may seem odd, but I'm thankful for them in the sense that they are our congregations full of people of, of worth created in the image of God to live and to love. And I'm glad for us to be able to come alongside them and join them in their journey. And number 10, I am thankful for the potential we have. We are a five talent association. Uh, we have great potential to serve in the midst of God's kingdom and to help to, for God's world to be transformed spiritually. I hope you have a thank-filled Thanksgiving day.